Well, this year, Cody, Wyoming hosted the Public Lands Council's annual meeting. And as always, a lot of important issues were covered. However, incoming PLC president and Colorado rancher Mark Rober says the main mission of PLC continues to be to keep ranchers on America's federal lands. Our main objective is keeping ranchers in business on the land and keeping the land healthy with using livestock as a tool. And uh, that, that is really our main mission. However, ranchers are worried about the future of grazing on federal lands, especially with the Biden administration rolling back many of the Trump administration's favorable changes. Former Montana Stock Growers Association Executive Vice President Errol Rice, now a senior policy advisor to the BLM director, hopes he can ease some of those worries. I think hopefully with that opportunity, um, we can better equip ourselves as a beef industry uh, to build these relationships with federal agencies, not only at the field level, but the state level, um, at the federal level, um, to number one, gain access to the important uh, you know, decision makers within these agencies, provide the credible information that public lands ranchers need to get on the table uh, for discussion. Um, and then thirdly, I, mean, I think a big part of my role is to, is to articulate that, yes, grazing is important, uh, it's important to the ecology of the lands in the West, and it's important to the, you know, to the business economics of public land ranching in the West, too. So hopefully I can help be that bridge, uh, be an open door for the, for the public lands industry, and uh, hopefully move the needle on a few of these issues. The American Sheep Industry Association's vice president and Wyoming rancher Brad Boner says the Endangered Species Act is one of the big issues that PLC is working on, and for good reason. So I think what we've learned over time and, and the Sage Grouse uh, Initiative is a great example of that is the only way we really solve these problems is with a collaborative effort. Um, we, don't get, we don't solve the problem by, by ha being on one end of the spectrum or the other, other, the other excuse me, and, and uh, solutions actually come out of a collaborative effort and uh, PLC helps us uh, accomplish that. And so I think uh, we just need to continue looking for those solutions and, and, and not continue talking about problems. Let's, let's get the solutions that actually work for everybody. Incoming PLC President Mark Rober agrees and says building coalitions with others is very important to the organization and its members as they look to 2023 and their legislative priorities. We're going to be uh, continuing to build partnerships with other multiple use groups so that we can have a bigger, uh, bigger pot to draw from. And, uh, and then of course, you know, there'll be the usual, we're gonna be concerned about the ESA and uh, defending, defending the, the right, rancher's rights to be out on that public land. So it's gonna be a three-phased attack <laughs> and uh, we will be busy. There's no question about it. And you can bet the Public Lands Council will continue to work hard on Capitol Hill to keep grazing a part of the landscape on America's federal lands. Reporting from the Public Lands Council's annual meeting here in Cody, Wyoming, I'm Russell Nimitz.